over me. Yes. I have confidence on you. Oh, yes. I have put my trust in you. But you oh Lord, I put your love has taken over me. All I like Oh, you. 
Oh! 
kings and queens in your father's house. Your father's house is our house. So, sit comfortably. Sit down on the enemy's head, okay? Amen. Anytime you are sitting, you are sitting down on your problem. I'm telling you, so don't allow the problem to sit on you. That is why we say sit down comfortably. Don't be afraid sitting down. Sit down comfortably. Despite the challenges, the chaos, whatever you are going through, you sit down on them. I'm telling you, as you're sitting down, don't be quiet, okay? Amen. Don't be quiet, don't be quiet. They will not do anything anymore because you are comfortably sitting down yes, in your father's house. Amen. No matter the challenges, what you know, whatsoever, sit down comfortably on your enemy's head. Okay? You all again are welcome to today worship. We give God the glory for another wonderful time to be in the presence of God. Like, oh, <laughs> oh God, thank you. <laughs> yes, you know, I have daughters that always remember me. You know, tell me, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because so that we can. You know, I'm looking at the time because we have other things to do. Uh, Amen. I'm telling you, I brought it, okay? <laughs> so that I can be able to. Uh, but before then, how many of you come early? How many of you came early? I want to know, how many of you came early? Because you all came early, right? Yes. <laughs> So, don't put them on the pastor also. Because I know what I'm saying. I, I know, I, I'm telling you. The pastor is trying on his best. I'm telling you, most of you came not early. Let us be candid. We came here before four. And we started, I mean, sorry, before what? Three. About three. And we started what time here? About three ten. You know? They're trying to put this, you know, in order, trying to make the mic speak. You know, I'm telling you. So we all came in, right? Yes. Good. So we all are, we all are in the same way. <laughs> when you give it to me, I give it to you. <laughs> That's right. Not only you put it on pastor, 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 what about you? You know. Are you happy today? Yes. You know, you all are smiling, happy, joyous today. Amen. Looking at you all, looking so beautiful and so handsome. Amen. And I want to welcome you all again to this ministry. It is called Touch Light. 
International Ministry under the Multicultural Church here, which is Asa Multicultural, or rather we call it Dan Moon, Dan the Moa, and I'm telling you. So uh, this church has been existing, the English worship here will be eight years later. Praise the Jesus. And this place has been free. We don't pay nothing here. We don't pay nothing. And this place is free. The pastor gave us to do whatever we want to do. So we thank God for his life, for the family, for all the staff. May the Lord bless them, keep them from all evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all of you too that have come differently, you discover that uh, we are not, you know, we are different nationality. Like you see today when they are doing prayer, you discover that not only one national is different national. Because for me as a pastor, I do not celebrate. I hate it. Because in heaven that day, uh, you will know that God will not say only Nigeria. No. Only Cameroonian. No. That is it. So that is why this church is international. International. We can, yes, we can call upon you to do anything that God wants you to do. Don't forget that Korea is a traditional point, tra transitional country. That means when you come, if there is a job in somewhere, you go and leave. Am I right or wrong? I'm telling you. So, so when you come, we see you, we make use of you because maybe after one year, you are out for a job somewhere in Busan and we can't see you again. Right? Am I right or wrong? Right. Uh, so, except those that really know what they want. You know, just like our sister, Sister Sony. So Sony got a job far. She said no, she doesn't want to miss a church. She got a job far. They offer her a different kind of job. This one come. Let me sleep with you. She said, no way. Before she got a job. So she hold on to God. And I want to thank God for her life. Sister Sony and uh, her daughter, Sister uh, Sister Who? Cookie. Sister also Cookie. The cookie is behind. Look at her there. Uh, and, uh, yes, that's her mother. You know, if you see both of them, you think you, you would think they are sisters. they're sisters. <laughs> they look the same, you know, they all the same. I'm telling you. So you all are welcome again, welcome to church, everyone. And for our Thanksgiving today, then I'm going to give a short word before we go into uh, the Thanksgiving properly. Welcome again. Uh, one more time, look at yourself and greet yourself and say welcome. 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 Sister Lisa, are you welcoming who? Welcome yourself now. Welcome everyone. Uh -huh, okay. Good. And then, yes. Uh -huh, that's it. Okay. Good. Because you see my eyes, I'm watching, right? Uh -huh. I want you to see those that will not, uh, you know, I'm telling you. So today, we want to talk about, you know, we are dealing on the subject this month because every month we have a team. And this thing, this month is the month of uh, possibilities. We are be dealing on possibilities this month. This month, I'm telling you, this month. And today, all when you look at the board, uh, I mean, what is the important things of uh, possibilities? So I want you to uh, really get in touch with it very well. Open your eyes of understanding as you are listening. I want you to catch your revelation, okay? Not by saying "Wow, no," catch revelation. Uh, okay, revelation matters a lot, amen. Uh, I'm telling you so that you go home and understood who you are in Christ uh, Jesus. Now, the first scripture uh, we are going to see tonight, uh, this evening, is Abraham. You know, look at it very well. The first thing it says, Is anything too hard for who? For the Lord. Uh, are you talking to who? Say it again. Is anything too hard for the Lord? See, that's a question. This, this is this is not pastor now, it's the Lord. Because pastor is limited. Am I right? Yes. Uh, look, we are going to be very sincere here. Pastors are limited. But God is not limited. 
Amen. God is unlimited. Amen. That is why it says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? He said, Then he said, I will return to you at the appointed time next year. He said, This is my year. This this is my year. year. Oh, you're not just talking. Let me go to this side. Say what he said. This is my year. This, this is my year. year. He's talking. Oh, let me talk to the center. What did he say? This, this is, is my year. year. Oh, let me try this. Side. What did he say again? This, this is, is my year. year. That is it. Look at it. He said, Next year, this is your year. Yeah. It's my appointed year. See, it, it is my appointed year. It is my appointed year. Now, he went as far and said, next year, and Sarah will have a son. Yeah. You know, Sarah at that time was barren. There was a lot of mock, mocking her, but Sarah was afraid. So she lied and said, I did not laugh. Because she was laughing, she knew her, you know, she knew that, you know, she cannot, uh -huh, she cannot at that time. She knew. Using a fact to know, ah, I am 99 years old. I cannot have a, you know, eh, I cannot have a soul, you know, ah, you know, I'm too old. Father, this is your word. Breathe in your word. Breathe into your word tonight, this day. Let your word become a revelation into the ears of your people. Remove every distraction from them, Lord, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, this word today will bless your people. This world today, we enter into them, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. It is done already. It's in Jesus. They just say amen. 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 Now, now, you see, as we're talking about, we said important things of, of what possibility. Well, we're talking about possibility, but the important things you need to understand today. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Nothing is too hard. Don't you know what I say? Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard. Yes, you are the problem, yes. not God. You are the difficult kind of people that God has ever created. God regretted for making man. I'm telling you, man are the so much difficult people we have ever seen. You are them. That is why some people they prefer to have a dog. A dog. Ooh, ooh, they have to prefer. So even they don't want to see one here anymore. They decide to go to the beach and stay. Some even build their house in the forest. Because they are difficult. They are complicated. Look at it. He said, is it any too hard? God is telling you now, today. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Eh? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Nothing is too hard. Now, he said, I will, I will return unto thee and come into the time of life. In King James, some of you, you know, will be doubting with what I'm going through today. How can you know you are using your own fact, using your own memory? You are talking to your emotions. How can it be possible? You know, I've been here for a long time. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. I, I, I'm, I, I'm telling you. Have you have you told God? Have you allowed God to take care of what you are going through? Your senses is, hey, look, look, you don't compare your senses with God's way. Don't compare your knowledge. Allow God to step in to do what he wants to do. Allow God to get in there. Allow God, don't use your senses. Because your senses will fail you. Don't use your charisma. Don't use your knowledge. Don't use your education. Because it is not by power, might, but by what? The Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is saying today, is there anything to her? Talk to the boy and talk to him. Is there anything to her? Is there anything to her? Ask him again and ask that brother or sister and say, what, what is the problem? Oh, ask him again. Say, what, what is the problem? And what are you going through? Everybody is going through one thing or the other. I'm telling you, even when we are sitting down, we are thinking about how we can pay our rent. Am I right or wrong? Yes. We are taking different things. We are here, but our mind is somewhere. Am I right or wrong? Yes. I'm telling you, my brother. But the Lord is saying, is there anything to her? Listen, it may be hard, but it is not impossible. Yes. Don't you remember, I say so? It will be hard, but it's not impossible. Say, it may be hard, but it is not impossible. Now, there's a difference between hard and 
impossible. Different thing there. Hard is for experiences. But be possible is an encounter with God. So once you have an encounter with God, it becomes possible. You may have gone through experiences with men. Hard. Because they are limited. But once you meet God of possibilities, it becomes possible for you. It becomes possible for you. Once you have an encounter with God, it becomes possible for you. But you have gone through experience. Experience with this. This one failed me. This one do me this. This one do me that. Those are experiences. That's why they come hard. Because you put trust on them. They complicate you, give you trouble, give you problem. Those are experiences. But once you encounter God, it becomes eh, possible. Say it is possible. Say it is possible. Say it is possible. My brother, my sisters in Christ, let's see Genesis 18, verse 1. And two, look at the Lord appeared to who? Abraham. Near the great trees of Mareh. While he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Heat of the day means he was going through trouble. Everybody has heat. Challenges are heat. Problems are heat. You know the heat, you know, you, you don't be comfortable. Heat. Now, even Abraham was going through it. Abraham was going through, sitting at his tent in the heat of the day. And Abraham looked up and saw three men. Don't forget, at the heat of the day, he looked up and saw three men standing by. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bow low to the ground. Abraham has a revelational knowledge to know who these three people were. No matter what you are going through, don't allow your angel to pass by. I am speaking to for two seconds. Let Now, so people when are going through, they don't want to see anybody. Am I right or wrong? And the heat of the day, that time you will see your angels coming. At that time, they are coming to deliver you. They are coming. So this man Abraham looked up and saw three men. Three men. This men were going to Sodom and Gomorrah. And they are angels. How did he know? And this same man that paid tithe, Abraham, don't forget. How? Because there was no tithe in the Bible. Am I right or wrong? But he has revelation. Nobody told him to pay tithe, but I'm not talking about tithe today. But I'm just giving you what an example of it. But I'm just telling you about how this man understood revelation. He saw these three men, and these three men have what it takes for him. Because everything is in these three men for the wife and for himself. My brother, my sisters in Christ, important things of possibility. Now, the Bible said to us that Abraham sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. Now, the word heat, like I told you before, it means many things. It means pressure. It means disappointment. It means disadvantage. I'm telling you, my brother. It means depression. I'm telling you, my brother. It means what? Depression. At this time, Abraham was under pressure. Was under pressure. Was under pressure. Why? He had a problem. Abraham was from a culture of not producing. All his brothers, they don't have children. Abraham came from a culture where the father, Terah, was after idols. <laughs> We're after idols. I'm telling you. Was after what? Idols. Was after idols. Was after idols. And God told Abraham to leave where, you know, to leave there. For you to be here today, God told you to be here. To be in Korea. Because of what, you know, because of your family, some of them, they have idols. Am I right or wrong? Oh, you're not talking to me now. Am I right or wrong? Some of them, they have idols. And God wants to separate you. If God wants to bless you, we bless you alone. God does not bless organization. He bless only one person. I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters in Christ. So God now begin to tell Abraham, 
You know, don't forget, Abraham was from a culture of not producing. From a culture of not what? Producing. So he was under pressure. At that time, he was 99 years old. At that time, at that time, at that time, he was 99 years old. And his wife was 90 years. At that time, at that time. But the heat was on him. Some of you have carried into this year the heat. Some of you. Some of you. You have carried the heat of 2023 into 2024. I'm telling you, my brother, I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters, the pressure of 2023. But this year, 2024 is still, is still very clean. We not be like 2023. Can I hear amen? If you believe that, shout amen. amen. If you believe that, shout amen. amen. My brother and my sisters in Christ, you are under pressure because of your marriage. You are under pressure because of your ministry. Some of you, you are under pressure because of your business. You are under pressure. Your life is under pressure. Your home is under pressure. Your education is under pressure. Many things around you are under pressure. But if God be God, this is your day. Yeah. Oh, I told you to say amen to that. Yeah. If God is God, this is your day. Yeah. My coming to answer is not for entertainment. Yeah. I say this is your day. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, my coming here to answer, it is not for show, but to let you know it is your day. Yeah. Hey, hey, say it is my day. It is my day. Say it is my day. It is my day. Say it is my day. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, Jesus, many things around you are under pressure. God will break that pressure. Amen. I said, God will break that pressure. Amen. I said, God will break that pressure. Amen. I said, God will break that pressure. Amen. I am here with the anointing to break. Amen. Whatever that pressure you, I will pressure them. Amen. Whatever that is in trouble will trouble them. Amen. Say, I will trouble my trouble. I you're not talking. Say, I will trouble my trouble. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let's see the other scriptures and see we are going. The Bible says, for its anger, this is Psalms now, anger lasts only a moment. But his favor lasts forever. So, favor is bigger than anger. Yes. When God gets angry with you, it's not for life. I can no matter. Speak it up for two seconds. Hey, hey, look at the scripture very well. God's anger lasts a moment. It's only human beings that will, they all will last forever. They will sleep on their anger and wake up the next day and that next day becomes a malice. And two days, three days, for someone to say sorry becomes ego. I can't put down myself. Ego becomes one decade. Two decades, three decades, and the person die and go to the grave with anger. Say God forbid. 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 God's anger lasts a moment. I don't know if God is angry with you, it's for a moment. But favor is coming. Say favor is coming. Uh, say favor is coming. Say favor is coming. My way. This week. This month. Say it is possible. Say it is possible. Favor is coming. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Now look at what they say. Is it weeping may stay for the night? Touch your neighbor and say, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Oh, you're not saying this. Say, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Oh, wipe your tears. Wipe your... Say, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Say, it is your pain. Wipe your it is your time. Wipe your it's your hour. Wipe your... It's your appointed year. The Lord will change your story. For good in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what it says. But rejoicing comes when? Oh, you're not talking. So rejoicing comes when? Rejoicing comes when? My brother, no matter your tears, your money must come. No matter, no matter, your money must come. I have come to let you know and to remind you 
that your money is coming and this is your money. Say it is my money. Say it is my money. In the name of Jesus Christ. My brother and my sisters in Christ, the night is over. The night is over. The dawn has come. 2024 is a year that God will meet you because it is the, it is the year the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Amen. My brother, my sisters, he will do incredible, incredible things. Amen. Miracles in your life. Amen. Miracles in your business. Amen. Miracles in your family. Amen. Miracles in your job. Amen. Miracles in your marriage. Amen. Miracles in your children. Amen. For you to come to this, to today, the Lord will meet you. I said the Lord will meet you. I said the Lord will meet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, 2024 is great things that is going to happen. I have seen it already. It told us that uh, this year is our year of the glory of this little house shall be greater than the former. And this month's team is it is uh, possible. So we are working with the team, working with the team, working with the team. And the team is happening on us, for us. For example, look at what happened in this ministry. We don't celebrate death day, we celebrate birthdays. I have a covenant with this God that none of them will die in my watch. I'm not come here to entertain you. I have a covenant. I'm not come to entertain anybody. Once you are under this grace, this grace will cover you. You can't die anyhow. I can't bury you because I don't have that grace to bury you. The only grace I have is what? Celebrations. Weddings. Maybe dedications. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 My brother and my sisters in Christ, I want to let you know, please, this year is a wonderful year. Don't give up, okay? Do not give up. He's still very young. Do not give up because great things are bound to happen this year. That devil is a liar. That devil is a bastard. God will lift you up from that pressure of your life. He will lift you up from that pressure of your life, of your family. If you believe that, shout, yes, yes. Yes, yes. My brother, I want to show you some important things tonight. Number one, please. 2024, you must see with the eyes of possibilities. Please. Don't see with the eyes of, of the fact. Please, use your faith against the fact. See the eyes of it is possible. See the eyes of it is possible. See the eyes of it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. See with our eyes. Not with your natural eyes. I'm telling you, my brother, not with your natural what? Eyes. Please. Because every human being you meet is carrying something. But not, not all human beings is carrying what you need. I'm telling you, please. Please. The way you see this year will be different with the way you saw last year. True. I'm telling you. It's a different year altogether. Can you see what has happened in the world? Even Dubai just had some problem. Dubai, one of the best country. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, between the four hours, everything is fine again. Uh, that is to say, I mean, you know, the advanced country will, you know, I'm telling you. Or not only four hours, the country is back to line again. I'm telling you. So, things are happening in the world. Can you see? Can you see what is happening between Iran? America have to come in. Can you see what is going on? Things are happening. Even in your family. I don't know uh, this happening in your family. They are happening. Things are happening in your home, happening every everywhere to tell you that this year, don't take it for granted. It is possible. Don't you ever say it is possible? Say it is possible. 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 Now you can see that Abraham lifted up his eyes in the midst of troubles. The pressure was more. He looked and saw three men. My brother, when you are under pressure, you don't see where. Am I right or wrong? I say when you are under pressure, you don't see where. Everybody is wrong. Everybody is a suspect. Once you are under pressure, hey, my brother, you get confused because of the pressure. Your vision is confused. At that time, you have to pray for disarmament. At that time, disarmament. 
Because the Shunammite woman, like you know, perceived that this is an holy man of God. Not all businesses you must enter. You must design the kind of businesses here. Ah, not all businesses that you enter. You have that designing. I'm telling you, not all company you must keep. Some company are company of fools. Some company are company of wisdom, wise men. I'm telling you, my brother. So check your company who you have relationship with. I'm telling you this year. Because this year, you have to decide. I'm telling you, like I was telling you before, I said, love is not a feeling. Love is a decision. Because feeling will die. I said, what did I say? Feeling will what? We die. Oh, I feel for you. Ah, it is feel for you, but you know how. I feel for you. I feel you. I feel the way you walk. I feel you. Oh, I feel you. Then we die off. Feel you, we go. But love is a decision. The woman you sell with, or the man you sell with, you've already made a decision that I will stay with this man or woman all the days of my life. That is a decision, not a feeling. Feeling will just go. Immediately, immediately you have entered that private area. Feeling is gone. Yes. We call it private area. What do you what do you just, just say? Private, private area. Areas. Say it again again. Private area. Say it again again. Private area. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm telling you my brother. <laughs> feeling we go. Feeling we go. Because that is that's the feeling. That is the feeling. That is the feeling. But I can't stay with you. So my brother, my sisters in Christ. My brother, let's go to 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14. It said, the person without the spirit, what happened? Does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God, but consider them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are designed only through the spirit. You want the spiritual at this time to know what kind of relationship am I getting into? You want to design the man or the woman. You can't just enter in because of because the man is the man is no the woman no way no no design before you enter design before you enter design before you enter that business the, I'm, I'm telling you the, before you enter the company you want to get into because we have so many company in Korea company in Korea many company company of fools company of 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 of, of liars company of dupers company of different kind of companies. So be careful the kind of company you get into. Yeah. You must have the desired spirit to be able to design. To be able to do what? To design. You must believe the God of possibility. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, please. Now, ah, sorry, Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and have stretched arm. Nothing is what is so hard for you. I am the Lord, the God of all my. Is anything. So Jeremiah begin to say it again. Jeremiah, you know, it, you know, does not tell Jeremiah that is there anything too hard? The same thing that goes to Abraham. Nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is too hard for God. It is possible. Say it is possible. So you must believe the God of possibilities. God spoke for Himself. He said, nothing is too hard for him. This is a year and of possibilities. The year of the glory of the letter house of what? Uh -huh. Just, I, I want you to get it down. Get it, get it in your memory. Get it in your memory. My brother, the devil must give up. Depression must give up. So the devil must give up. Depression must give up. Don't forget, depression is a spirit, an evil spirit. Yeah. That when it comes upon you, you cannot know. I'm telling you, when it comes upon you, you know what they call depression? There are different types of depression. It has level. Yes. Let me tell you this. I will tell you for free, little ones. For free, oh, I'm not uh, for free. Uh, for free. Uh -huh. There are ones you talk too much, that's depression. That's already depression. Uh, and that thing can cause dementia. Dementia means forgetting things. So, so it, 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 it's coming gradually, gradually. You start talking, you catch your tap, 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 t
I'm telling you, that's already depression. That's depression already. You know why? You know why depression? Because when you talk, you talk out of point. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. That is enough. You talk out of point. You talk, talk what is unnecessary. You talk, you talk, you talk, you talk out of point. I'm telling you, that's already depression. I'm telling you, the other depression, other one, they want to eat the food they want to eat. Joke, they want to joke, they want to just start, start eating. They only start eating, that's another one. I'm telling you, they want to buy things that are not necessary. They just want to start buying with a credit card. That's hey, 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 hey. That's, that's another type of depression. Yeah. So there are kinds of depression, kinds of depression, my brother, and my sisters in Christ. Kinds of what? Depression. Say, God forbid. God forbid. I will never be depressed. Talk to your neighbor and say, You will never be depressed. Talk to your neighbor and say, You will never be depressed. Say, You will never be depressed. Say it again. Say depression must give up. Depression must give up. Talk to say depression must give up. Depression must give up. Depression must give up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says all things are possible to him that believe it. Don't forget, we have two more scriptures to go. Genesis twenty-one. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. This one already. I already said it. Say if you can. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now the Lord was gracious to Sarah. Gracious means he has favor with Sarah. Anytime you see grace, grace means favor. Now, to Sarah, as he said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Don't forget what he said in Genesis 18, right? Yes. 18, so 18, now 19, 20. Everybody has a chapter and a verse. Amen. Everybody has a chapter and a verse. I'm telling you, my brother. Now, this is the verse of this woman now. Sarah became pregnant and bought a son to Abraham in his old age. At the very time, God promised. In Genesis 18, don't forget, Genesis 18, you know, Abraham gave the name Isaac, which means laughter, you know, to the son Sarah bore him. When his son Isaac was eight years old, Abraham circumcised him. Don't forget, circumcision was what they taught yesterday. Abraham had to say, because of the covenant with, with him, uh -huh. circumcised him. So as God commanded him, Abraham was 100 years old when his son, 100 years old, when his son born to Sarah, God has brought me laughter. God has brought me laughter. Everyone who hears about me will laugh with me. Say this year, you will laugh with me. Say this year, you will laugh with me. Say 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 you will laugh with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah 44. No, okay. So I want to see this verse 1 and 2. Yes. When the Lord restored the fortress of Zion, we were like. Those who dream. Our mouth were filled with laughter. Our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Get ready for what the Lord wants to do for you. Get ready. Touch your neighbor, look at him or her. Say, get ready. For what the Lord wants to do for you. Uh -huh. That's it now. It, it's become like a dream. I'm telling you, like a dream. How? How? I'm telling you, like a dream, because it is possible. I'm telling you, let's go to uh, Isaiah 44, verse 26. Uh, Isaiah 44, 26. What did he say? He said, Who carries out the words of his servant and fulfills the prediction of his messenger? Who says of Jerusalem, He shall be inhabited of the towns of Judah? They shall be reduced. The reduced, I will restore them. Who carries out the words? I am God's servant tonight. Amen. And I've come to prophesy upon your life. Amen. I'm telling you, listen, I care no demons, okay? Yes, Any demon here, we die here tonight. Amen. If you are a witch here, I will kill you. Amen. I have lessons to kill. Yes. Hey, oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I have lessons to kill. If you are here with a kind of radical kind of heart that is witch, I will kill that witch here. Fire will come tonight. Amen. Are you, are you ready to pray? I'm going to prophesy upon you right now. Amen. And according to the scripture, he said, who carries out the words of what? Of his servants. You see that? And fulfill the pressure of his messenger. I am God's messenger. He sent to answer 20, 20, 2016. I've been in answer. And I've been in Korea for 2000. You can see. I've been here for 2016 here to get my family. I've been, in, I've been in Korea for 2,000 together with my wife. I'm telling you, 
So you can see, you can see, you can see that we are we are not here. So the witches have tried on the faith. I'm telling my daughter, I decree today. Are you ready to pray this prayer? Yeah. Say, I decree. I decree. Say it again. Say, I decree. I decree. Say, I decree. I decree. I decree. I decree today. I decree. Every harassment. Or if I were you, I would have stand up. I have caution. Just stand up because there are too much harassment. I'm telling you. Say, I decree today. I decree. Every harassment. Every harassment. Over my life. Over my life. It's over now. It's over now. It's over now. Every shame, every reproach over my life, they are over. They are over now. Every struggling to eat is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every struggling to complete my project. Please, please open your eyes. Anybody project not finished yet, can I see your hand? If you are happy with the project, thank you. Get get ready today. That project will complete it. Amen. Before the end of this year. Amen. I'm telling you because it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. That project, that project, you will you will finish it. Amen. I said that project will finish it. Amen. 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 Because the call opportunity will make you finish it. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 Say the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Every struggling to complete my project is over. Untimely battle. Untimely death is over. It's over. Say from today. Say from today. My day of comfort has finally come. My battle is won in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever that wants me to die. Whosoever that wants me to die. Before I complete my project. They will die in my debt. 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 Any man that says I will be in sorrow. Any man that says I will be in sorrow. Or woman. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my inner's house. They will sorrow my sorrow. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Any man or woman or in from my father's house, mother's house, in house, that has naked to cost me, say today, I will turn back the cost. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Any trap they set for me. Yes, from now on the, the completion of my project. That trap will cast its owner. That trap will cast its owner. Any trap they set for me, they set for my vision, they set for my marriage, they set for my children, they set for me. That plans go back to the evil people. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any disease from my lineage, from my lineage, today, I stand today prophetically and I disconnect it. I disconnect it. I disconnect it. Any cancer from my family that is trying to affect me, check today, I disconnect, I cut off, I soak myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. Say, I cause, I, cause. I reject any symptoms of disease on my body, on my lungs, on my kidney, on my abdomen, on my intestine. I cause it and I command it. Come in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I cause. I reject any dementia of the future, any cancer of the future, asthmatism of the future, glaucoma, partial stroke, partial blindness. Ah, I destroy it. I reject 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 it. In the name of Jesus Christ, say I am healed. I am well. I am whole. 
I am healed. I am well. I am whole. I speak to my body. I speak to my liver. I speak to my organs. I speak to my bones. I speak to my eyes. I speak to my body. Receive strength. Say receive strength. Receive strength. Receive strength. Say I receive strength. Say I receive strength. Say I receive strength. Thank you, Father. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Put your hands for Jesus Christ and take your seat. Are you blessed today? Yes. Are you blessed today? Yes. This is what we do here. We pray like this. We pray, we, we, you know, I'm telling you, we pray foundational prayer. Okay? Here, blessings, you're already blessed. But you're not seeing it because your foundation is not yet taking up, uh, it's not taking care. That's why you have to go to the foundation to root them out. The blessings are there. They are all there. They are all there. But you cannot see it. Why? Because your foundation, the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can what the Russians do? So that's what we pray for additional prayer. Traditional prayer. Traditional prayer. Traditional prayer. The blessings are there. They, they are not ruling. It's for you, it's for me. Amen. So Amen. Quickly, we are going to take our offering as we get ready for our Thanksgiving. People for Thanksgiving, get ready. And people who follow them, please you have to dance with them, okay? Dance with them. I because I saw our brother last time who danced here. He's here. Uh, I can still see him. Mm. <laughs> He is here, he is here, he is here. But I'm trying to look at and to see whether the father is here, the father. Yes, where is the father? The father is not here, the father. Where is the father now? Oh, the father is out of uh, And the one about the bride, I mean, yes, that lady that was, I mean, they're also uh, uh, out, okay. Uh, but anyway, the ones that are here tonight, uh, this afternoon, this evening, we are going to celebrate with you. Amen, somebody? Uh, Yes, to that brother that dance uh, last time, we also dance again because anytime I see him, or anywhere I see him, I'm telling you right now, in front of you, all of you, if I see him anywhere, he will dance. I'm telling you right now, anywhere I see him, just take him. You know, take him to, if I see you anywhere, I'm telling you, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, anytime I see him, tell him, uh -huh, you should get ready. Yeah, she got ready. Ain't that somebody? Ain't that somebody? You know, I try to know this brother. This brother, I know you, right? I know this brother. This, this brother. We know ourselves for a long time now. For how many years now? Hey, this brother, you know him now. This brother here. Yeah, we know we know you. I'm trying to remember you very well. You know, I'm telling you. So it's time to give your offering first. Um, yes, give your offering. Then after your offering, we are going into the uh, Thanksgiving proper. Thanksgiving proper. We are going to give your immediately. <laughs> yes, so thank you so much. You already, you are all blessed. Amen. Yes. And please, there is something to take home, don't forget. There is, there is enough, enough, um, take, take out, and uh, enough take out. That's why they are ready to take it down so that when you finish uh, everything, you just don't eat here. Make sure so you carry it home and sit down very well, okay? Uh, because here you are rushing it, you want to rush. No, 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 no. Go home and sit down. Even me, I'm carrying my own home, but sit down. I'm telling you, so please, eh? Take your own so that you sit down and eat your food. <laughs> my brother. That's my brother over there. My brother, Debune, right? That's Debune there. Please put down in the potatoes. Debune, right? Debune, I'm telling you. And we have the uh, brother with the glasses here. Amen? I can see it. Oh, that's it. That's it. And our sister here, uh, 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 you are you are dead. Uh, uh, what happened now? Um, yeah, but next time, you sit down with him. Okay? Next time, because we are going to have a marriage program. Okay? I'm going to invite you, you have to sit down with him. I'm telling you, you have to sit down with him. I'm telling you. Uh, let me see who's not sitting down with you. Uh, okay, that's all right. It's good. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. And even Titus too. Together. So yeah. If not, she will come here and sit down with you. I'm telling you, you will sit down with you. Oga. You will sit down with Oga. 
Any time I got a head, you see that Don't say you go there and you come here. No way. I beg. Then, also wait again. Edda, you do wait, Edda. Edda, you will see that. So, then we will see that together. Okay, so. Eh, now. Eh? Eh? You said that for sure. I'm telling you, so we will see that together. Yes, and this is that too. This is that. Yes, so what's your husband? Yes, this is what you see. Yeah, that's it. Is that all right? Ah, what's this person now? Meeting with me. Okay, let us stand up as raise our. This, this is our first offering, no man. Thanksgiving, you know, it's very important. Thanksgiving is important. But this one is the church offering. You know, I believe when you get to Africa, when it's Thanksgiving, it's not uh, people giving. Am I right? Yes, yes, even, yes. Some of this, when I give a testimony, some of them will put their. Yes, on their own. Nobody is telling them on their own. Uh, on their own. So I want you to raise this offering up. Raise this offering up. Say the name of Jesus Christ. As I raise this offering, I did steal it. It is my sweat. Oh, you're not saying it. You used to be so sweat now. So much time you were dead. You tell you, ah, it's so funny now. You just steal it. Now, say the name of Jesus Christ. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Say. With this, offering, With this offering, I lift away poverty. I lift away poverty. I lift away sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, as I'm given, as I'm given, good measure, shake it together and press down and run it over, shall men give unto my bosom. Thank you, Father. I give my life unto you. I give everything unto you. I set my offerings. I set my offerings. I set my offerings. It's in Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, 
you know, when it's a side like that. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Okay, the all is alright? Hey. Take your children right now before, before, before I'm out of my Yeah. Before. Hey, God, a very big God. Oh, he knows it's on my hand. It's always on my side. A very big God. And uh, today uh, we got uh, a new mic, which has to be for cheaper. A new mic, you know, for normally I don't like to stay with this, I like to go around. I don't want this thing to hold me. So, uh, the celebrants, the folks, uh, huh? Okay, yes, the both wireless microphone for the church to tell me who to be using it. Uh, so, the both wireless. Yeah, God bless you all. God bless you all. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, uh, no, don't, don't go yet. Don't go yet because I want them to make a statement. I mean, uh, I want them to uh, uh, make a statement. Is that correct? 
Uh, I want them to make a statement. They want to make a statement. Uh, <laughs> please stop you call. Uh, now, 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 <laughs> you know, please, uh, as I'm talking, please, I want you to take care of the children because I'm telling you, you know, when we take eyes from them, they can do something else. So we are looking at them. Now, like you know, they already were there, and the marriage continued. Don't forget, the wedding was just one day and some hours. But this is the marriage now. And this family, the Lord blessed them last week with a brand new car. So, marriage. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, this is marriage. Marriage is a good thing. Anytime you find a good woman, it becomes a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. So she has brought favor to this family, to this man, to the husband. I'm telling you. And today they are here to celebrate as well. And they have something to say uh, as they look at themselves because this is marriage. Marriage is looking at yourself, right? So I'm going to give uh, first. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I hear a big amen, please? Amen. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank God because you know, uh, if you have been attending this church and if you're coming, you I've never given a Thanksgiving before. Really. But this time around, I've looked at what God has done for me since the day I stepped my feet in Korea. Since the day um, I joined this ministry, uh, the blessings have been flexible. It has been countless. And I just want to thank God for all of what He has been doing in our lives my wife, uh, the baby, our family back home. Uh, God has been so faithful to us and through our pastor, the eagle, Pastor Benjamin, he has helped us a lot as our spiritual father. And to be honest with you, <laughs> that times I've fallen, that times I'm going wayward. He always called and he brings me back to the light, yes, to the track. And this year, before this year began, I made a new year resolution to myself and to Tara. And I said, no, this year, everything concerning Christ, I'm going to be committed. Yeah. Yeah. So, we started off with, uh, let's, we started off, my wife and I, we said, let's, let's, let's start off with our marriage first. Let's finish with the church first. Before any other thing you can do. Built from there upwards. Amen. I said, okay, yes, let's let's do it. And that very morning, I just I came to Pastor and just I told Pastor, we want to do this thing with Pastor. And <laughs> I was like, Pastor, next month. Because I just wanted to do it, let's do it. Yeah. But we took it slowly and thank God we have Pastor there, we have Mom there, you know, there to guide us and it has really been a blessing, really. So I just want to thank God for all of us, all of the good stuff that this ministry, the Lord has shown to us, and that's why we are here today to give thanks for everything the Lord has done for us. So. Amen. Have you seen what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the work of Satan. Jesus. 
Hallelujah.